the unstable power supply being experienced in Kumasi and other parts of the Ashanti region is also affecting the Asante Hini, and he put these concerns to the energy minister. <laughs> The minister, Matthew Opoku Prempe, and top officials from the Ghana Grid Company, the Volta River Authority, and the Electricity Company of Ghana are in the Ashanti region as part of efforts to address the erratic power supply. The Ashanti Hini also wants processes fast tracked to bring in the Ameri plant to Kumasi to boost supply. The yeah, can be on this mother plant, you know. Yeah, yeah, mama mother, I'm a plant, I'm from Missia. Ameri, Ameri, four plant, you know, car power, you know, more can. Yeah, I'm busy, me want to see a cook ready, I'm busy, I need the assistance, so my. The power transmission and distribution agencies say the collapse of a communication tower on 330 KV Abwazi to Kumasi transmission line at Bogoso continue to affect power supply to Kumasi and parts of the Ashanti region, especially at peak periods. Matthew Opoku Prempe described the sighting of structures close to sensitive transmission lines as unacceptable. Everybody got to know that. Don't construct structures near high tension cables and things because they can have an effect on the whole public good that we are enjoying. The people who cross will just shout, ah, the people are there. Look at what a badly sighted mast has done to the whole people of Kumasi and Ashanti. He gave the assurance that the current power supply situation in Kumasi would be addressed. People would admit that Kumasi had improved tremendously just by energizing where we are. Kumasi had improved. So for those of us uh, who are in charge, we will continue to give the support to ECG and Grifo to ensure that whatever necessary is done, the ministry says processes are advanced to relocate the Ameri power plant to Kumasi. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumasi.